How many of you raise your hand if you've ever loved someone with a brain or a mental health issue? How many of you have one that you've been concerned about? I want you to think about them as I go through my talk. Mental health issues affect us all. Either you've struggled or you love someone who has, nobody escapes. And the incidence of these problems are skyrocketing with deaths from drugs, alcohol, and suicide at their highest level in recorded history before the pandemic. And then everything got worse. But, what I'm really excited about, what I'm going to talk about tonight, is I believe we are on the cusp of a new revolution based on over 210,000 scans. I look at that number, I'm amazed. Um, I inherited my energy from my mother. But to just think, 1991 was the first year I ordered a spec scan. And Every year, the database just grew and grew. And what did we learn? Most psychiatric problems are not mental health issues at all. Rather, they are brain health issues that steal your mind. And this one idea, it changes everything. Get your brain healthy and your mind will follow your brain. The physical functioning of your brain creates your mind. Did you know that most people who see cardiologists have never had a heart attack? They're there to prevent that. I believe if we are ever going to end mental illness, we have to develop a similar way of thinking where we know the brain's risk factors and we attack each one as soon as we know it's there. So for example, teenagers who just sleep an hour less than their peers have a higher incidence of depression and suicide. People who have gut health issues have a higher incidence of anxiety and brain fog, or people who have infections like Lyme or COVID can cause you to be angry, depressed, even psychotic. So we're living in this time of an incredible um, increase in mental health problems. Our mission at the Change Your Brain Foundation is to end mental and people like look at me and go, how are you gonna do that? We're gonna create a revolution in brain health. We need to end the concept of mental illness. Call somebody mental and you shame them, call them a brain and you elevate them. Nobody loves their brain. I live in Newport Beach. We have more plastic surgeons than almost anywhere in the world. People care about their faces, their boobs, their bellies, and their butts. And nobody cares about their brain. And that's in insane. Tonight, we're going to talk about revolutions and how scientific revolutions happen and how I want you to help me change this paradigm. We have the ability to change the medical specialty. And it's currently hijacked by the American Psychiatric Association, by the insurance companies, by the pharmaceutical industries, by big food. It's, you'll hear me say it, the shit show. It's a shit show. But we can make a difference, and I am absolutely convinced.